Hey guys, it is time for another stock in September. It has been a busy week here so far in the homestead. The tomatoes have kicked it into gear. My friend Ange came over to can and we did all of this. 55 jars I've got for in the pantry, which is pretty awesome. That's a big chunk. I mean, to put it into perspective, the whole month of August for the every bit counts, I did 126 jars. So to get 55 in a couple days is pretty good. So definitely been busy, but that didn't stop me from shopping. We went to the dollar store. That's right, Dollarama. I love Dollarama when it comes to just stocking up on some of those little items. And one of the things you'll know that is our favorite thing to make around here is granola. When we make our own yogurt, I love to make my own granola to put in there. I don't know, it's just something that I do. And we do have a video with the recipes, which I will probably put down in the description because I'm terrible at linking. But what we get from the dollar store is a variety of things, really, for granola. And it's never the same because that's one thing about the dollar store. You could go there one day and they have certain items. And the next day, they don't have those items, but they have a whole bunch of different items that are just as equally awesome. So that is something that we end up doing, is stocking big time. We stock those items when we find them, like coconut, for example. That wasn't at the dollar store this time, so I couldn't get any. But luckily, as you can see here, we have a lot on the shelf still. So chai seeds, that's another one. We often get them at Dollarama. Fantastic pricing, but they don't always have them. So what did we get? Let me show you. So what did we get for our $15 this week at Dollarama? Pretty good stuff if you ask me. Two bags of apricots. They aren't organic ones, but it is what it is. I don't use these for a lot. This honestly would probably last me close to a year, two of them. One thing of walnuts. I love chopped nuts in my granola. So that's why we also got Two things of Brazil nuts. These are fantastic. Brazil nuts have to be my favorite. Uh, I shouldn't say that. Macadamia nuts are probably my favorite in my granola, but try and find macadamia nuts. Not cheap anyways. And lastly, two things of pumpkin seeds. Now we don't only use these for granola. I also like pumpkin seeds in my kale salads and things like that. So we do use pumpkin seeds a lot more. These two would certainly not stock us up, but it makes a pretty good start. So as you can see, we ended up with seven bags of various things. It's amazing how fast that $15, if you go every week and spend $15 on a few little bags of things, you have a wonderful pantry full of all these great little bits that you can grab here and there. Doesn't mean that I have to put them in every single batch of granola I make or every single salad or every single trail mix, but it does work really, really nice to have diversity. And that's where it's kind of interesting because Sometimes you can get pistachios or other types of fruit or pecans or almonds. Now, the one thing I will say is I can often find almonds cheaper elsewhere. Some of these other items I could maybe find cheaper elsewhere too, but for the convenience of just knowing it's always there when I go in and I can just grab a little bag. I also don't have to open a huge bag, which means when it takes me a month or two to use it, it's not so bad. But now comes the fun part of the video where we're going to make some granola. And another little thing that I did stock up on while I was there, although it really doesn't count for the stock at September, although I suppose it could because it's still stocking an item, but was canning lids. I'm actually really satisfied with these Mason ones from the dollar store. They're a good thick metal and they have a really good seal. Honestly, haven't had any issues with them so far and $2 her, which actually isn't too bad. Basically, I only put that tidbit in there because there was that little clip that showed the receipt. And if you looked on there, it said 2303 was what I spent. And that's because these were $2 each plus tax. So that brought us out to that. Otherwise, it was just 15 bucks for those nuts and fruit, which is pretty, pretty good. So let's get to making some granola. Now, I will admit, I haven't made this granola in a couple months because we've kind of been slacking on the granola over the summer because I haven't made a lot of yogurt. Uh, so I have my cheat sheet here and I'm gonna just kind of go through things quick, putting it in. Like I said, there is a video on this. It's actually two recipes in one video. There's a chocolate and a non-chocolate. I don't know what you call it, regular. <laughs> so I'm making the regular today. It's gonna have a little bit of fruit, a lot of nuts, because as you know, with the diabetes stuff, we're bulking out our granola with a lot of nuts. So 
not going to say it's a 50-50 ratio, but it's pretty darn close. So let's get busy. All right, so first thing I usually do is get my butter melted and add a little bit of olive oil to it. Now, the only reason I add the olive oil is just because it saves me going through butter too quickly. There is no real reason other than that. You could do all oil or you could do all butter or whatever the mixture is for you. But usually I go for just a little bit over half a cup, not too much over, just a little smidgen. I find if I stick to just a half cup, it's a little bit weak. Three quarters of a cup is too greasy. So it's kind of finding that sweet spot in the middle and it really depends on what your mixture of granola is. As I said, I don't put a lot of grains in comparison with the nuts and things. So maybe I don't need as much as what you might need depending on your batch. But to that, we then add, I know, I know this makes me cringe, but we then add a half cup of maple syrup. Now I am looking for alternatives on this, but the one thing I will say is that half cup of sugar is spread over a very large amount of granola. I mean, this is meals and meals worth of granola. So I'm not super worried about the sugar content and maple syrup does have other benefits as opposed to just using straight sugar. So that's what I'm gonna keep telling myself and I'm gonna go with this. I've tested many times after eating the granola in yogurt or just the granola on its own and I haven't had any real issues. So I think between the nuts and the large flake oats, it seems to really still work for me and my blood sugars, but it might not work for you. So definitely that's how I cook, right? It's always very easy to tweak all these things to whatever works for you guys. So give it a try, but make sure that you're flexible and uh, you adjust it to what works. So I'm going to then get started on all our dry ingredients and then I'm going to pour this liquid mixture into that afterwards. And for our dry mixture, I'm starting off with three cups of large flake oats. You definitely want to make sure you are using large flake whole oat type product. Click oats, they work, but these work better. And then really from that point, this is where the fun begins because you can put whatever you want in this, really. I'm today going to be doing walnuts. These are the last of my uh, Walmart bought walnuts. They were on sale. Those pumpkin seeds that you just saw me purchase, no, I'm not opening those packs. I'm using ones that I already had open. Got to rotate the stock, right? Brazil nuts, again, these are already opened ones. Coconut, cashews, sunflower seeds, and last but not least is almonds. Now, basically, I gotta really stop saying basically. I'm finding as I'm editing these videos, I say it a lot, a lot. I promise I will be working on that. Now, all these nuts and seeds, you want to combine that into, now I do at least two cups. Like I said, I almost try and go 50-50 if I can, but that's just because I want that nut protein content in there rather than a whole bunch of grains. So I'm going to mix up three cups or close to of all these seeds and nuts. Oh, the other thing I forgot too was chai seeds. We got, we lucked out and got this big bag of these at uh, Winners of all places. It was $12.99 for a huge bag of chai seeds, which I thought was actually a pretty good deal. We're always keeping an eye out for good deal. It's the only way you get a bargain nowadays. And as you can see with the nuts here, they're just loosely chopped. We don't want them pureed down to nothing. I like them a little chunky in my granola. Three cups, nuts, seeds, any mixture you'd like. I have to admit that nuts have become a huge, huge part of my diet now. Whenever I need a little snack, I just go and grab a nut. I don't know why I never did this before, but boy, it makes a big difference. I find that I'm gonna finish eating before I keep talking with my mouth full to you. It's like Jeopardy songs playing in my mind. Mm. Gonna resist the urge to eat more. Yeah, nuts have become a huge aspect of our diet now, whether it is almond flour, whether it was granola souped up with nuts, whether it's just I need a little snack and grabbing a bit of a nice mixture of nuts. I'm trying to avoid the salted ones. It's really hard because those salted ones are so good. But anyways, I'm digressing from what the video is actually about, which is our granola. 
So now we're going to grab our three cups of our large flake oats. We're going to add the nut mixture in. I'm going to put a little bit of cranberries and chop up some of those apricots and then basically pour our liquid mixture over top, stir and toss, get this out onto my parchment lined baking sheet and then into the oven it goes at 325 for probably about 20 minutes. Um, definitely watch it. You do not want to overcook this. That is something I will stress over and over. Overcooking it will make the fruit in here go hard. The nuts will be over baked, I guess you could say. So you want to be very careful. If it's starting to go golden, take it out because that means she's done because it's going to keep cooking and it's going to harden off because of all that syrup in there. Three cups of rolled oats are three cups of nuts. Now you do not need it to be three cups. You do you. Half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna do a sprinkle of cinnamon. I like cinnamon, plus it's good for you. And then our butter, oil, and syrup mixture. Let's give it a little stir to kind of incorporate it. It doesn't mix up, just so you know. And then we pour that on and mix it up. Oh, I forgot to cut up the fruit. We're gonna get the fruit in there. <laughs> I forgot to add the fruit. Went through all that for you. Basically, I usually do cranberries, raisins, apricots. If I can find uh, unsweetened cherries, I would do that. Sometimes blueberries. It just depends what fruit I have available. Right now, I'm finishing this container of cranberries. It is a sweetened cranberries. I am almost through all the cranberries that we've stocked over the years. And then I will be making a change because cranberries, surprisingly, one quarter cup is 32 grams of carbohydrates and it's almost all sugar. Uh, so that is something I really need to change. But with this granola, I feel I'm not getting a quarter cup every time I eat a thing of granola, so it's not so bad. So we're gonna put that in. And then I'm gonna cut up a couple of these apricots and we'll put them in and then we'll get it in the oven. So there's our apricots all diced up and in here. And the one thing I was just noticing as I read on the packet, the apricots, a third of a cup is only 24 grams of carbohydrates. So I didn't even put a third of a cup in there. So we're really going to be, the oven always ends up at temperature during my talking videos. And then we have to wait. Do, do, do. Gotta love a singing oven. So now our granola is ready. Our oven is ready. We're gonna spread this out on our parchment lined cookie sheet and we're gonna roast it up and I will bring you back when it's all done and we'll give it a taste. To be honest, I think you could just eat it like it is. It is unbelievably yummy looking and smelling too. All right, so I forgot to set the timer, but it is smelling beautiful in here, which makes me think that this granola might be ready. Oh, that is looking lovely. See, what I tend to look for is right around those edges where it really starts to brown up. That's the stuff that is ready to go. And if we toss it all in, I think it's gonna be perfect. So now, of course, the moment of truth, we need to try this granola, right? It cooked up beautifully. I'm super pleased with it. We're having it tonight with our yogurt with low sugar. I've made both these recipes in videos in the past. You've seen them. The blackberry syrup and the raspberry syrup. We're going to mix those into our yogurt and then we're going to put a third of a cup of our granola on top and we're going to enjoy this as a sweet treat. And we kind of looked at each other and went, well, did we wrap up the stock in September part or not? And I said, well, yeah, I made the granola. But just as a conclusion, hope you enjoyed this Stock It September. Stay tuned next week because we got another different twist again. And I don't know if we actually get a fifth week in September or not, but I might throw one in there anyways because you can never be too stocked.